Hey guys, it's Ben, the Pro Se Coach. Um, I wanted to talk real quick about um, something that I've had a couple of clients come up with here in the past few weeks, and that's, um, I guess, technicalities, and I'll explain. Uh, one young lady, um, she wasn't given proper service. This is documented, she admits it, everybody knows it, it clearly didn't happen properly, but she does know about the case and the hearing and everything and the orders, but she wants to go in and basically just smack the judge and say, this was not properly served, thus, thus everything is void. And that's how she wants to get out, away from these bad orders. It's not going to work. There's no way. It's not going to work. And I'll tell you why. Um, because this is family law and there's no law. So, you know, I say that to everybody all the time on the phone and they go, yeah, but it, look, at the end of the day, the judges have so much discretion and so much immunity and so much power. They can overcome anything that you throw at them just by going, well, anyway, carry on, you know? And so this young lady, she's very been out of shape about the uh, the lack of service and how it wasn't done right. And this, you know, that makes everything void. And I'm going to tell the judge that, and then that's going to be the end of the hearing. And, and I'm going to strut out of there like I own the place. And I keep telling her, what he's going to do is he's going to say, well, young lady, I see that you weren't, you know, maybe there wasn't proper service, but you know what? You're here now. Let's just keep moving. You're going to end up in the hearing. So look, as to technicalities and you didn't follow this procedure, you didn't file this perfectly, or you didn't, you know, whatever it is, service, other things. Um, yeah, bring it up, bring it up and raise hell, but don't count on it. And so you better be prepared for what's going to happen next, which is, okay, well, let's continue with this hearing that you weren't properly served about because you're here. Let's just go. And that happens all the time. And it's super difficult to explain to people or even prepare for it because you're expecting the law to be followed, but it's not in family law. And so, you know, consider that you can definitely bring it up, but don't make your whole game plan that then the conversation will be over. Be prepared for the rest of the conversation. The other part is case law. And we've talked about this a few times in the group. We had our, our uh, resident lawyer, Ben Beveridge on, and we talked about it. And our friend in the group, Orlando Marquez, he posts this amazing case law. And it's it shows how every single day, millions of times a day, the state of Texas violates constitutional rights all day, every day. And so bring it up. But don't count on it. Don't count on something happening. Don't count on the judge going, oh my gosh, we are. We're violating your due process. Everything stop. We're going to order 50-50 and no child support because, you know, Ben has reminded us of this Supreme Court case. No, they're not going to do it. We're back to best interest doctrine. And they can just go, yeah, well, you know, it's best interest that you get your kids four nights a month. And so, again, bring it up. Talk about it. Try to get the court to address it. Make a conversation, but don't count on it. I wish that's how it worked. I wish we could cite the case law from the Supreme Court that says, hey, state court, quit doing that shit to people because that's what they keep ruling. But then we go in and we give this bold speech about all of this stuff that's gone on in the case law and Supreme Court says and blah, 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 blah. And the judge goes, anyway, carry on. So, I mean, I hate to be the kind of a downer of the video this week, but, you know, stop doing that to yourself because you set yourself up for a huge amount of disappointment. Bring it up. Yell about it. Be passionate, but don't count on it. Be prepared to continue through your case because odds are that's what's going to happen. All right. Y'all have the best week ever, please. Thanks so much.